This is chapter 18, Lord Balaram slays the demon Pralamba. While Ram, Balaram, Krishna and their coward friends were tending cows in Vrindavan forest, the demon Pralamba entered their midst. He had disguised himself as a coward boy with the intention of kidnapping Krishna and Balaram. He, that demon, Pralamba, took the, disguised himself as a particular coward boy who on that day had remained home with some duties to perform. So he looked just like that missing coward boy, so no one could detect him. Though outwardly Krishna accepted Pralamba as a coward boy, inwardly he thought, I will now kill this demon. Krishna, who knows all sports and games, called all the coward boys together and said, Hey, coward boys, let's play now. We'll divide ourselves into two even, even teams. The coward boys chose Krishna and Balaram as the leaders of the two parties. Some were on Krishna's side, side and others were on Balaram. They played various games like carrying, being carried and being passengers. And the winners would climb on the backs of the losers would have to carry them. One boy would hide and upon being found, he would become the loser and have to carry the victor on his shoulders. That was the further detail of the Mukaluki Leela. They would be hide and seek, and then when you got found, the defeated person would have to carry the finder. Thus carrying and being carried by one another, at the same time tending cows, they went to Bandiravan, a huge banyan tree. Although it was convenient to use the branches of this tree to mount the shoulders of defeated boys, the boys chose not to do that and they climbed on each other's shoulders near that place. So sometimes Krishna got defeated and he had to carry Sridam. And Pralamba got defeated and he carried Balaram. Pralamba considered that Krishna was invincible, so he decided to take Balaram far away from the spot. Thinking that Krishna would be too difficult to conquer, Pralamba went on Krishna's side in order to carry Balaram, because he got caught by Balaram and he lost. Pralamba carried Balaram far beyond the spot where he was supposed to carry him so that he would be out of sight of Krishna. Only with great difficulty was Pralamba able to carry Balaram who gradually became heavier than Mount Sumeru upon realizing he was being kidnapped by a demon, Pralamba. Pralamba was forced to slow down and he abandoned in his disguise as a coward boy and showed his huge demoniac body dressed in gold ornaments and resembled a black cloud flashing with lightning and carrying the moon. When Balaram saw this terrible body. He was a little frightened. But then he remembered. He smashed his head with his fist. When Balaram showed fear of the demon, Krishna, who wanted to see some fun, injected knowledge of his godly powers into Balaram. Then Balaram remembered that actually I'm God. I'm his lordship. In Vishnu Puran it says, Krishna helps Balaram recollect his powers by saying, O soul of all, secret of all secrets, why are you acting like a human now? The demon was kidnapping Balaram by flying into the heavens as if stealing some wealth. But Balaram's powerful fist came down on that demon and cracked the demon's head just like Indra's thunderbolt smashes a mountain peak into pieces. The demon vomited blood, lost all consciousness, and with a great noise he fell down on the ground like a mountain devastated by Indra. The coward boys were astonished to see how the powerful Balaram had killed the demon, and they explained, Sadhu, Sadhu. They glorified him. And everyone's very happy and the demigods showered flowers. Balaram Dauji Maharaj Ki Jai. Grantaraj Srimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai. Jai Jai Sri Radhe. Jai Jai Sri Radhe. 
जय जय श्री राधे